Dave, thanks. Well, today's thunderstorms definitely caused damage across our area. Our Shay Schrader is live in Richmond Hill. Uh, Shay, what does it look like there now? Well, Don, Max, hope, luckily it is nothing too serious. So far, we haven't heard any reports of major damage to homes or cars or anything like that. But what there is, is a ton of debris everywhere and some flooding in parking lot areas and things like that. We are in the public's parking lot off of 144. It is definitely flooded. You can see cars are up to their wheels in it, though it has been receding over the past couple of minutes or so. Elsewhere in Richmond Hill, there is debris all over the road. It's just limbs, pine cones, leaves, and you know, that's from that hail damage that we saw earlier that a lot of people got caught up in. I was in a neighborhood off of Harris Ave earlier, and you know, there was uh, trash cans blown over as well as limbs on people's roofs and lawns and things like that. Now, Richmond Hill City officials are asking people to stay away from the Harris Trail entrance to the Main Street neighborhood. It is impassable because of flooding, so just be aware of that. If you do live in that neighborhood, you are able to cross into it on the Ford Ave side through Ivy Street or Francis Meeks Way. Now, in the meantime, uh, Richmond Hill City officials, again, they're trying to clean up all this debris from the roadway, so they are asking people that if you don't have to be out on the roads, just avoid it for the next couple of hours so they can clear things out and make sure that it's safe for everybody. Live in Richmond Hill, Shay Schrader, WTOC News.